Did you know? We have published an eTabs course with a complete 20-story building design. The course will include complete guide to eTabs, from basics to advanced level with a completion certificate. Check link in description of this video. In this lecture, we will learn how to export an eTabs model and import it into Revit. This is the eTabs model we will be using and the eTabs version I am using is 16.2.1. The download and installation guide is given in the description of this video. So first of all we have to export the IFC file into the folder. You can select IFC 2x3 or 4 but IFC 2x3 is an older version and supports most of the softwares. If we have to export it for structure analysis, we have to select structure analysis and the units as feed since in ETAPS we were working in feed units. And we were to select line loads, area loads and frame eccentricities but if you are using it for structure analysis, you can click select those options and export them into the location where the software has saved the ETAPS model. You can also check the log file for errors if any. Let's import the IFC file into Revit. I have already turned on the Revit and now I'll be opening the IFC file from here. And then I'll browse to the folder where I have saved the IFC file. So I'll be copying the address where my IFC file is saved and paste it in Revit browser. Press enter and now here is my IFC file exported from eTabs. Now Revit is loading the parameters as defined by eTabs. Revit is reading the section properties in the terms of eTabs. So the model will be a structural configured model which is converted into architectural model by exporting into IFC format by eTabs. So it might not be an accurate Revit model and definitely since Revit is primarily for appearance purpose and the overall five dimensional analysis of the model that is the 3d model costing and scheduling so that is why we have to apply multiple changes to the model for instance we have to upgrade the structural member sizes and properties according to the Revit libraries right now they are in eTabs database which is just being imported into Revit These are just warnings which is informed by the software to us. Usually each model consists of unique warnings. So you can right now ignore them. So we have opened the eTabs model into Autodesk Revit. I am using Autodesk Revit 2019. You can open it in 2016, 17 or any later version. So here we can apply it the shaded view to see the material and the hatch and the colors. So eTabs has exported all the levels and grid systems as we defined in eTabs. So these are the levels which we define in eTabs and Revit has picked all these levels from the eTabs IFC file. So that works fine for me. And similarly the elevation. Since the elevation scale is quite large appearing here, so let's make it small by making the elevation levels nearer to the structure. We, we can do as we discussed in the levels tutorial previously. Just to make the model or give it a more compact look.
Now if we see the structural member properties by clicking on the structure, they would be in ETABS terms. Let's go to the ground floor plan, select vine view and shaded. So if we select a slab or any structural member, let's say select slab. So the slabs are broken as we have done meshing in ETABS. So since the slab does not exist in the Revit library, so we can always change its assignment as we will take a later discuss in the part of the course how to change the object assignments. Right now it is not supported by the Revit libraries as not present in Revit libraries. However, it is exported database from ETABS picked by Revit. You can see if we double click the column, we can always override its properties from the Revit as well. But you can see the property name is 1-79. However, it's not an exact column property as we expected. And ETABS just export the material properties and the dimensions of the member. That is how we export ETABS model to Revit.